and welcome back to a new episode of Crowd's Vault. I'm Dan. I'm Jake. And today, uh, well, I think it's enough time has passed. I think we can officially talk about Endgame. Yeah. You feel safe? We can talk about Endgame. I've, I don't give a shit either. Yeah, way. Jake. I, Jake. Yeah. Jake just never goes with me on anything. Uh -huh. He is a sociopath. Yeah. Uh, welcoming back one of uh, one of our favorite guests, as voted on uh, by whoever listened to the last episode, uh, went off the rails. We figured, hey, let's uh, let's bring him in on this episode. I like this guy. And see how this goes. <laughs> Uh, uh, Tony Casillas, give him your social medias. Hello, my name's yeah. Tony Casillas. Follow me at Comedian Tony C uh, on Twitter and Instagram. And guess what? I don't want to put a bullet in my head anymore. Oh, Life is great. oh that's great. Uh, 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 now give us your uh, social security and credit card number. Uh, 445. I'll give you those numbers if those are actually uh, Okay, that's fine. Well, there we go. So, end game. All right. Yes. First of all, uh, billion dollar opening weekend. Second weekend, uh, supposed to do the same thing. Yeah. It's supposed to be projected making $5 billion. Let me ask well off the top, does it deserve every dollar? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, favorite parts? Uh, we'll, go clock we'll go clockwise. Tony, go ahead. Favorite part? Dude, my... F ah. Okay, I think my favorite part... Too fucking late, no, Jake. No, was favorite. either, was either <laughs> Fat Thor... I liked how amazing. No, I just huh, I, I wonder why. why. I no, no, I wonder why. No, I thought it was really why. great. He I felt so worried. inspired. No, no, no. no. <laughs> I'm a fat man. No, uh, I liked it because what I was worried about was they're gonna make Fat Thor, and then in two scenes later he's gonna be normal Thor yeah. again, and he's gonna be back to you know being the strong guy. I like how they like kept it through and the scenes with his mom. Oh I yeah, were amazing. He's, and I think he's truly a tortured they needed, soul. Yeah, they, yeah. Needed and I think new, Thor, they needed a new Jared, and they got Fat Thor. <laughs> and I'm excited just as I'm also excited to see how uh, Thor gets involved with the Guardians of the Galaxy because I think that yeah, it's is Guardians perfect. of the Galaxy. I think it's perfect. Yeah, dude, the so, chemistry that they had in uh, Infinity War it was like genuine. yeah, undeniable. You can tell like so oh, this is fucking the, awesome. Uh, you liked the Thor uh, character arc mm -hmm. throughout the whole Endgame, Jake. And also, oh, go ahead. can I say my favorite? Two jokes was when uh, Paul Rudd comes back and he goes, I know this sounds crazy. And Scarlett Johansson goes, uh, I get weekly emails from a raccoon. Uh, Nothing sounds yeah. crazy. I thought that was, that was, that was a great line. joke. And also when Captain America's like, I can't let you win. And he goes, I know. Like, uh, Captain yeah, America, I can do this all day. Yeah, I can do this yeah. all day. And he goes, I know. Like, and I know. Captain America getting annoyed at Captain America, I think is genius. Cause yeah. it's, it, it's, he finally sees how ridiculous that character is, and I, I love that. Right. So. Jake, favorite part? Uh, too many, to name them all. Uh, okay, we're going to be here for a while. No, I'm just going to say, whenever Cap gets Mjolnir, and fucking Thor's like, I knew it! You <laughs> yeah. know, and he fucking goes ham with everybody, and then uh, and he's like, everybody shows up, and he's got the Mjolnir, and he's like, yeah. Avengers, a symbol. Yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. everybody just fucking went ham there you see ant-man stomping on people and shit giant man i should say mm -hmm. rather um that was a really cool scene also smart hulk yeah professor hulk is fucking that great. was that was a i twist. wanted to see more fighting with him yeah. i told i said that we were getting professor hulk in this one i didn't think so because and the reason why i thought we were going to get more of an explanation on why would you stop sipping my sprite two no. episodes straight seriously sometimes you, Dude, you want man. one be Where's professional yes anyways <laughs> I you keep recording and you yell at him after, sir. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. I'm going to leave it in. <laughs> I, I thought there would be more of an explanation on what happened in Infinity War, why Hulk, like, backed out into Bruce Banner, never came out. I thought we'd get an explanation He kind of did. He's well, like, yeah, yeah I, w I lost twice. It, once is Hulk, once is Banner. Yeah, and he's it like, was, so it fucked me up. So yeah. then now I combined the two and I got the best of both worlds. Also, it, but it seemed like, and I'm not saying it was a bad thing. Uh, it just caught me off guard because I didn't think you could explain it just so simply. Like, you know what I mean? I thought that was going to happen. Well, also the bigger. way they executed it I thought was perfect because at first you're like, what the fuck? Yeah. And yeah. then just the way they, oh yeah, this is me now. And then the whole selfie thing. 
thing. Right. I, I just liked how they... You, you easily yeah. buy that. Now, my favorite part, which is, it's really weird that it's my favorite part, I just got hyped as fuck when it happened, is when Scarlet Witch got her chance to get at Thanos and just, oh, like, yeah. go into her. Because oh, yeah. yeah. they really made her look like the fucking child of Magneto right yeah, yeah. there. Yeah, they she's made her really, really one of the most powerful ones on the fucking team. And, 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 they, and they totally fucking downplay her powers. They nerf, I know. They fucking this nerf was like her. For That's the, what they do. This was, like, for the first time Scarlet Witch actually fucking looked like Scarlet Witch. I mean, she me she did in uh, Infinity War also when she stopped that giant fucking will yeah, thing. Yeah, but, yeah. but but it's like loses. you could have done more damage to fucking Thanos. No, I'm just saying. Yeah, they, yeah. they fucking nerf them just like they did Vision. Vision's like all powerful. We'll talk about uh, who's dead, who's still alive. Uh, before we get into that, hold on, wait. Biggest. You, we skip. Uh, uh, what about the fucking? I want to talk about another couple scenes first. Let's do oh, it. okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, whenever uh, Cap is in the elevator. Yeah. And it's oh, the, the fucking Hydra. scene from the fucking Hydra. Winter Soldier. But then it's also a callback to that time in the comics just yeah. very recently where he had a fucking heel turn. Yeah. And uh, people didn't like that a lot. But that was so fucking clever how they did that because he's like, he already knows what's going to happen. Oh, my God. Yeah, he's yeah, just and like, I, What I really liked Hydra. is how they brought all those characters back. I like how it felt, like the second act felt like Ocean's Eleven. Yeah, meets, total. Meets uh, Back to the Future. Back to the Future Part Two. It's like yeah. Ocean's Eleven. I just like that it wasn't just like they're all on their own Thanos, mission. Yeah. When they killed Thanos in the first fifteen minutes of the movie, I was just like, mm, What the? Fuck? Yeah, what the fuck's yeah. going yeah. to happen? Right. Like, yeah. like I thought they were going to get there. Thanos was going to get beat, and then out of nowhere, pff, army comes, and then they're fucked. Yeah. But like just the way you're like, Holy shit. Yeah. Abrupt yeah, yeah. cut five years yeah, later. Yeah, yeah, and I yeah. love that, and I just love the whole Hank Pym. I, I personally think. Uh, well, Ant they can't Man, do. They Ant can't Man, do the real Hank Pym storyline. Ant Man has the best two solo movies. I yeah. think just story wise and entertainment wise. Oh no, Ant Man. The and first Ant Man is... I really really enjoyed. Ant Man and Wasp I thought was a little slow at the first of it, yeah, but yeah. it picked up at the end. Like I really I did like it, but it's part... not like my yeah. favorite. But it Ant Man the first one is definitely one of my favorites. Yeah, Ant Man. Yeah. Yeah. Ant Man's definitely yeah yeah. That's that Edgar solid. Wright script though, you know. Exactly. Yeah. Just quick fun. Yeah. And I just like I just like Paul. So, um, he fucking nailed it in this also. His acting, you fucking totally believe. I mean, not to say that he's a bad actor, but like whenever he sees Cassie for the first time, mm-hmm. and he's like, it he's sad, and he's shocked, and he's like, he just accepts it. And yeah. He's like, you got big, yeah. And then just yeah, I mean, it was emotional. That's um, one thing I have to say. Like, but it actually, what I loved when about when he's trying it, to explain the quantum realm, is like, it, it does, it's stupid. What I and loved like, about it, he's like. It's stupid. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, like, he's just trying. Yeah. To... But what I loved about y'all mentioned uh, Ant Man. What I love about Ant- 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 Endgame is because it brings the importance of Ant Man like all the way up. Yeah. He's like, the but, catalyst for all of yeah, this. If Civil it weren't War, for him he... getting out of the fucking quantum realm, we wouldn't be where we're at now. Exactly. And in like Civil War, you really don't see his important. He's just kind of cameo, and then he has his own individual movies, and yeah. then he's rarely mentioned in Infinity War. Which is War. great though, because that's what I like about this movie. The first movie focuses on the characters. They kind of pass away, and then you give these core group. Yeah, yeah. No. One less chance to shine. Well, I mean, Tough it question. is. I mean, you start with the Avengers, you end with the Avengers. It's an Avengers movie, unapologetically. Yeah, That's yeah. why you focus on these characters, and you just get a little bit at the end. They want you wanting more. Also, Doctor Strange. I like Doctor Strange now. Oh, Since Doctor Strange. Sh- I never. I his movie like the, is the shit. Dude. His movie is the shit. His movie. You haven't good. got stoned enough and watched. No, his, his movie's movie is good. Bro. It's good, but like, I just like how he interacts with people. In Infinity War, he, he was, fucking he nailed great. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he was yeah. almost the and that fucking scene where he got yeah. all the multiple arms like the fucking Indian mm-hmm. god and then broke into a million. I was also surprised they got Tilda Tilda Swinton back to come back. Yeah, that was just cool. Yeah, I, just well, liked, I mean it was probably in her contract. No, but I just what I'm just saying is I what I liked is all the nods to yeah, everybody yeah. being like, like that's why DC has nothing compared to Marvel. Almost like reading a comic. Book. It's because like reading a big volume. Watch Shazam. Yeah. Shazam's a shit. No, but I'm just saying, oh. like, this is their, like, trying their Right, family. right, right. They don't, like, they cannot compete. You watch Justice League, and then you're like, oh, this guy's about to die. No, okay. DC's in trouble, because, exactly. like, they haven't even, they haven't even gotten a uh, cinematic universe got going until Shazam. Yeah. But, like, Marvel's well, already, Aqu- oh, Marvel's already finished, like, Aquaman, three phases now. Wonder Woman, Aquaman, and Shazam. I mean, those are going to yeah, be there. But like Marvel's yeah. already. And then we got the Joker movie. But they coming ruined up. Batman vs Superman, which yeah. is a big. Fucking I like that game. movie still, but Justice League fucking undid all of it. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. But this now, tough question, rad. tough question about Endgame. Before we break off into total nerdery, let's just try to keep it maintained under yes, control. Sir. Um, tough question. 
<laughs> disappointing part. Yeah. What was a disappointing part to you? <laughs> disappointing? Um, let's see. Tony, I, we'll start with you. I'm thinking. Um, <sighs> what what I, do you I wish? Thought, I, I thought the way they used Captain Marvel, she was just used as a... Oh, the writer. The background. Yeah, no, the writers got into a situation where they're like, how do we write ourselves out of this? And they're like, Captain Marvel. And then you get stuck in right. this background situation, mm. and then you're like, who do we go? Captain Marvel. Yeah. That's a good and point. It's just like, that I felt was okay. What, they had a shoehorn the in What's somewhere. the saying called? It's called a. Uh, yeah, shoehorn. Shoehorn, or like they call it, uh, it's a writing term I forgot, but like. When you get stuck uh, stuck in a oh. situation, uh, oh, oh, the plot, uh, the uh, MacGuffin, MacGuffin, yeah, the MacGuffin, yeah she, MacGuffin. she says like a MacGuffin, and I thought that was a little, eh, and also, I don't know, I thought, I don't know, other than that, really, I don't quite understand how um, Nebula could go back and kill her past self and not have that be reprehensible damage in the timeline, but I guess the way they try to explain it is that. There's two separate timelines, regardless. Once you break it, one's going to be that way forever. But it doesn't matter if you interfere with that one because the timeline that you're in will sustain. Yeah. So here's how I thought about it because Gamora is still alive. <laughs> what, what, what struck me was like, well, what Gamora is it? It's the Gamora that never spent any time with Chris Pratt. Right. Because that's that was before the she even met him. So, no, yeah, no, no it's, because it's they're the going Gamora. to find the Power Stone, and that's whenever he's on the planet getting it, and he's fucking singing with the lizards at the says, beginning of Guardians. And Gamora says, "This is him," and Nebula yeah. goes, "Yep, that's the one you spend that time idiot. with." And she's yeah. like, "Or yeah. it was him or a tree." So <laughs> that was good. Yeah. Here's so so just to keep it from being this plot hole mess because of that Nebula moment. Yeah. I figured out that maybe what it's saying is that yeah, there's alternate timelines, but in this particular movie, there's three. There's one where Infinity War happened. There's one where they all went back in time and changed that, and then there's the timeline where that just continued after they left. Uh, the second one. Can right. I do a quick side note. Go ahead. Can we all agree that Nebula was badass in this movie. Oh, oh Nebula yeah. was like, terrible. For the first Karen time, Gillen. Oh, uh, I liked Karen her Gillen fucking really volume shot. two. No, but oh, I, just, I just liked her like because here, yeah. like you feel her pain. Well, and you feel like the uh, the scene at the beginning whenever they're playing the paper football. Yeah. And Tony is like, "You win, congratulations." I'm sorry. She's like, "I like that very much," and but because she never fucking wins, she yeah, loses yeah, yeah, everything yeah, yeah. against Gamora. That she's constantly trying to fucking win something. I'm sorry, I got those three timelines wrong. That last timeline would be the present, and then everything else would be like the Infinity War. Right, but then, then you also yeah. had the timeline where Cap uh, stayed, and that did interfere. Yeah. Now, now about that, how does he return the Soul Stone? I don't know, man. So like, he could have gone back and already put everything in place, stopped uh, the Red Skull from winning, didn't land in the ice, still fucking lived to that life and fucking fought in all those fucking wars. Yeah. Mm. But then who does he bring the Soul Stone to on the planet? He has to bring the Soul Stone to the planet. That would be a cool fucking story because it's Red Skull, as we know, who's on Vormir. There's, there has to be a deleted scene. Or is scene. it Nita Valir? No, it's mm. Vormir. There has to be a deleted scene where that interaction took place. Oh, that'd be fucking cool as shit. That'd be but so But he just dope. drops off the stone to him, and he's got the fucking hammer, like, ready to fuck him up. <laughs> by, the way, did you like, by the way, did you like how they ended uh, Captain America's storyline just like they did in Ultimates 2? It was like the same I Ultimates. I fucking love it. He deserved yeah. the fucking dance. Cap is one I of my really... all-time favorites. And also, I like the whole, I like the whole thing with uh, when he asks, when he asks uh, Doctor Strange, is this the timeline? Uh, He's like, if I, win, well, if, if I, I tell, tell you, you, it won't happen. Yeah. And, and then. Because he, he knows if he snaps and says, you're going to die, you don't know if he'll do it. Yeah, or yeah, right. Yeah. But then he looks at him again and Robert, and he's like, just holds up the fucking finger saying, this is the one chance. This yeah. is what, you know, and what you have to do. So he's like, all right, this is what I, I have to do. Thing, another small thing that I kind of just felt like didn't deserve was the whole pepper pots thing. You know the scene where it's all those badass women. They, it's just that. the A Force. No, and I love that, and I love that. And but then, pepper and then you pots, see pepper yeah. pots front and center, and I'm like, she. Does she didn't not. earn it. She didn't she, earn like, it. Like if she was in the picture, fine. But they put her front and center. Wait, wait, it's wait. Just... He wants pepper pots and like a secretary outfit. No, no, no. no. <laughs> You know, oh, usually, usually this is me saying these things, 
Like, I, I, I'm not a huge Captain Marvel fan, and I'm like, why yeah. the fuck would you? Okay, so th- this one I actually can't get behind, because uh, whenever she put on the suit in Iron Man 3, yeah. and then at the beginning, you catch his daughter wearing the helmet that he made for Pepper Potts. He specifically said that that's your yeah. mom's. I made that for her. Yeah. Which is... Um, I just hate Gwyneth Paltrow. That's just this is the, these are the only movies I like her in besides Royal Tenenbaums and yeah. uh, Shallow Hal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I I really liked her as Pepper Potts. I, I think it was deserved I just, because honestly I thought Pepper Potts was gonna rescue him in yeah. space to begin with. I yeah, thought she yeah. was gonna put on the suit and she was gonna be rescue and fucking do that. But they still gave it to us anyways at the end. I don't know. No, I and, just don't. One one thing I don't what? like about her, and I think it didn't get deserved. This is turning into like <laughs> no, he's taking this off the rails no, 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 on no, no, Brenda Valtro. No, 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 no. It was because like. You she broke Coldplay's heart. Oh. <laughs> no, she had all she had all that contract dispute where she's like in the series, then she went <coughs> out, and now she went back in. My thing is, if she would have been like a staple throughout the series, I would have been like, fuck yeah. Right. But, like it's her always coming in and out. You don't see her for three movies, then you see her. Like that moment just didn't feel like it felt like it was a badass moment. But she's Gwyneth Paltrow. Yeah. And it just didn't feel undeserved. She's Gwyneth Paltrow. Yeah, I know, but it's just like. She didn't care about the series. She, she doesn't in, care. She she's Gwyneth out, Paltrow. And they probably gave her like $15 million. And she's like, fine, I'll yeah. Get yeah. If that just, I didn't. I left Coldplay guy. I got I did some like, money. I did like the line where she goes like, you can rest. Yeah, them. exactly. Like, that was great. But it's just like her as an actor where she's in, she's out, she's in, she's out. I would have just loved to see her like be more, like, I don't know. I want to close. Oh, on, did it uh, ruin your shoot while you were making the movie, Tony? Yeah. Yeah. Her her appearance as an actress. I am one half of the Russo brothers. <laughs> I, I want to close. I want to close. Now, look, I don't. I don't know uh, what it, it takes to get a best picture. Because if, if it were me, that would be best no. picture. Probably no. See, he's a I film. I think they're gonna nominate him. But I if, think they will. But I think one one thing deserves an Oscar, and that's Robert Downey Jr. in this movie. Oh yeah, takes yeah. the Iron Man he character an extra step ahead. Yeah, different yeah. type of Iron Man than we've ever saw. And that puts fucking, a little bit of his he own. He says in there. it at the fucking very end. Mm. You know, if he started the series this way and ended it this way, I am Iron Man. And man. I would, I would, cr- I would be lying if I didn't cry. Oh, I cried my when, fuck. I cried. When, when Peter Parker comes back and he goes, we were in this yeah. new world. And, yeah, he, and he just hugs, hugs him. him. Oh, dude, nice. yeah, that's when I teared dude, up. It was dude, just, I cried like fucking six times throughout this movie. The like, Hank Pym you know what? Like, yeah, even, daughter, yeah. Yeah. not even Hank just like Pym sad the, moments. <laughs> the fucking happy moments I got fucking tears. Because yeah. I was like, they're I hate fucking it when doing people it. bring up Hank Pym because like I know Hank Pym's backstory. Yeah. But like people see the movie Hank Pym and they're just so sympathetic. But like, the he's comic, a wife beater. Yeah, comic book Hank Pym is a wife beating some bitch. But that's why they got. Paul Rudd because Paul Rudd wouldn't hurt him. Well, <laughs> no, that's why. Well, yeah, that's he why might they brought if he had lane. to. Yeah, but he's a he's a good criminal. I like yeah. how they do that. It's like for the plot, he's a good guy. Yeah, he just had some fucking bad. A bad past, and I like that idea. All of us, yeah. he's relatable. So Jake, we always we always bring up a bad thing, and, and we blame the blame the crowd. I can say that uh, this this really good thing, Avengers Endgame, wouldn't have happened if it weren't for the crowd. Would yep. you agree that Avengers Endgame is the crowd's fault, Jake? Yes. All right, Tony. Would you like to take the closer uh, off the rails like you did last episode? No. You can give your no. social media again. Go ahead and give him your social My medias again. Comedian Tony C. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And after this conversation, sitting next to Danzy, I want to pull a bullet through my head. Oh, <laughs> he brought it back. Hey, hey, hey. Finish my order. sprite, kid. Finish yes. my oh. sprite. Go ahead. Mm. Get, a, get, a, get a good gulp in there. Oh, no, thank you guys for having me on. This was a pleasure. Thanks for coming out. <laughs> no problem. For yeah, Crowd's Fault, fun. I'm Dan. I'm Jake. See you next week.